Mike Ashley is a British entrepreneur that made it big in the retail sector with his sportswear shop Sports Direct. He is very well known because he later bought the football club Newcastle United. He was born in 1964. He wasn't that great at school and left when he was just 16. He was a squash player but he had to abandon after a bad injury. In 1982 he opened his first sports shop in the small town of Berkshire, England with 10,000 pounds from his family. His first store was called Mike Ashley Sports. In 1984 he opened his first shop in London called Preston Sports. It was the first of many because in the next eight years he opened 11 more. In the 90s the shops became more than 50 and he bought the Donny brand specialized in the production of tennis and golf products. In 2000 the shops were 80. He later expanded abroad especially in Belgium where he opened the shops called D Sports. In 2002, he acquired the Lily White's chain, which is also specialized in sports products. In 2003, he expanded and he bought the Lonsdale brand, the Dunlop Slasinger brand for £40 million, and the Kangold brand for £10 million. In 2006, Sports Direct had built a 29.4% stake in Black's Leisure Group, which is mainly known for its outdoor camping and walking equipment. In 2006, Ashley also hired Mary Lynch to manage the process that would lead the company to the IPO on the London Stock Exchange. In 2007, he also bought Everlast for £84 million. In 2008, he also bought a stake of around 12% into sports retailer rival JD Sports. In 2012, Sports Direct bought JJB Stocks website and 20 stores for £24 million. In 2013, he bought Into Republic, a British casual wear retailer. In 2014, he bought a 4.6% stake into general retailer Debenhams worth around £46 million. In 2017, he bought the retail chain Game Digital. One of the main reasons why he is so well known is the purchase of the football club Newcastle United, which plays in the Premier League. In 2017, he bought a 14.6% stake into the club from Sir John Hall for £55 million. From that, he had bought more than 30% of the shares of the club. He had to make a tender offer for the shares of the whole club due to the UK takeover laws. He made one at around the same price per share and the board of the club started taking it into consideration. Later, the chairman, Freddie Shepard, sold to Ashley his 28% stake, leaving Ashley with full control over the club and later continued until reaching 100% full ownership in the Newcastle. At the start, he had the support from the fans, but he later started being criticized for not investing enough in the transfer markets. After the bad experience with the manager Keegan, he announced the club was for sale. He reached out to interested buyers in the Middle East, but the deal didn't go through. After that, he committed to bring the club back to the Premier League and put £20 million into the club. He then sold the naming rights of the stadium to his own company, calling it the SportsDirect.com St. James Park Stadium. For a while, he also held a stake of around 9% into Glasgow Rangers. He faced criticism in Scotland, where he used the club's stadium as a guarantee for a loan. He later sold his stake in the Scottish club in 2017. Ashley also faced lots of criticism due to his way of management into Sports Direct. The BBC reported that 90% of the employees had zero-hour contracts, which are known in the UK for not giving almost no guarantees. 
it happened four times that ambulances were called at a sports direct address for a woman in a very bad state of health and one gave birth to a child in a shop's toilet. Furthermore, the zero-hour contract workforce receives less than minimum wage. This is it for today. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet and like the video because it's very important since we just started out. If you want to support us, you can do it either through PayPal or by doing your regular shopping on Amazon after clicking one of the links down below. I wish you all a good day and see you the next time.